we have a really important presidential election coming up in 2024. We're about five months away and it's really relevant to estate tax. So a few things to keep in mind. Back in 2017, the TCJA Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was passed. And at that time, you could pass roughly five and a half million dollars in assets without being subject to any estate tax. That five and a half million dollars is what's known as the exemption amount. So anything in between that is exempt from being subject to estate tax. Right now in 2024, the exemption amount is $13.61 million in assets. So anything over that exemption amount is gonna be subject to estate tax, which ranges anywhere from 18% to 40% and gets to that 40% pretty quickly. So in 2026, January 1st, 2026, we are scheduled to sunset the TCJA tax laws and that 13.61 million or whatever it's gonna be next year because it will increase based off inflation. It's going to go back to that roughly five and a half million dollars that I mentioned previously. It will be subject for inflation. So it will be maybe six, seven million or so. We don't know until we get there. Point is that it's basically being cut in half, right? So this is an opportunity for people to start doing tax planning. If we have a Democrat in office or continue to be in office, then we're likely going to have this sunset of the TCJA tax laws. If we have a Republican, there is the possibility that it um, is extended, right? And then it continues to increase. Even if we have a Republican, it could potentially lapse. We just don't know until we get there. So we have to plan as if it is going to sunset. So the good thing about the law that's currently written is that even if you use up your exemption today, say $13.61 million or whatever it's going to be in 2025, 14 million or so, you're locked into that. So even if it falls down to five and a half, six, seven million, you're locked into today's exemption amount. So it makes sense if you're already over that exemption amount or you're headed towards that exemption amount, whether it's 13, 14 million, or if it's seven million, it makes a lot of sense to start doing planning today. So keep this in mind. There's a lot of different strategies that we can implement to account for estate tax planning issues. This isn't the point of this video, but there's a lot of things that can be done from gifting assets, selling assets, a variety of different types of trust planning, charitable planning. So there's a lot of different things to consider. It makes sense to start having these conversations now before the law sunset.